Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your great support, always. I'm so grateful for your continued support to this channel. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Kenyans, today, police officers is in Nyeri saw fire with their two eyes. They never believed what they saw. When the Kiambu senator was summoned to report at the National Police Service, RCIO, Office Central, and CCIO, Nyeri County. And after presenting themselves, he was escorted with the other members of parliament. Again, they were summoned tomorrow. Wamekwa summoned tomorrow, waende DCI headquarters, Kiambu, Kiambu Road. Now, when the Senate of Kiambu, Alitoka, Apo National Police Service, RCIO Office Central, and CCI Onyeri County, walitoka hapo inje ili wa address the common mwana inji. Na hae polisi waka kwa deployed kwa streets. But wana inji wanyeri, they decided they are not going to be frustrated with these police officers. Because they know these police officers are being used. So what they decided on was to chase these police officers, even the face of these police officers, that led them to flee, not to wait for the wrath of the people. Because the crowd was swelling. At the end of the day, these police officers rushed uh, to, to their rescue because things were not going good. I want you to watch the video coming from Nyeri. But before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, as you always do, ensure you like the video. When you like the video, you automatically support the work that I'm doing in this channel because sometimes you watch and you forget liking the video. So this is just a reminder as you watch, ensure you like the video. Let us listen to uh, the video. Now there was drama in Nyeri town after police officers who were trying to disrupt a political gathering were chased away by members of the public. This after Kiambu Senator Karungo Athangwa tried to address the crowd after recording a statement with the DCI. And then TV's Ruth Sarmoe Chesenge now reports the Kiambu lawmaker will still be required to present himself at DCI headquarters to record another statement. Efforts by Nyeri police officers to disrupt a political gathering by former Deputy President Ugadi Gashagwa followers was thwarted after the crowd charged towards the officers. This was when Kiambu Senator Karungu Wathangwa was addressing the crowd in Nyeri town hours after spending the better part of the day in the DCI offices. I come from Kiambu. We are in Nyeri. We do not understand why they summoned us here. Then after we get here, they tell us that uh, we have to go back to Nairobi. So again, tomorrow, we have been summoned again at DCI headquarters, where we were on Thursday night, why they refused uh, to listen to us. So we would want to know why there is this discriminatory uh, summons, why everybody else who was, not, who was in that funeral has not been summoned in Yeri, only Karongo Wadangwa. The attempt to disrupt the meeting left the supporters chanting anti roto slogans. <laughs> Karongo says he was surprised to learn that he was under investigations for allegedly inciting the chaos that erupted in Limuru six days ago, where he faces accusations of assault and causing malicious damage. You know our cars, we are the victims. But we are saying we are not going to fight with the officers, they are junior officers. Uh, whom are just executing their mandates. It's only a facilitating and uh, hopeless uh, person who is uh, keen on uh, silencing people who can uh, craft such kind of a hopeless uh, maneuver. I actually volunteered the information that I was in that uh, event uh, upon which then uh, they decided that I also have to write a statement. And not just write, writing a statement. Actually, they decided that I am uh, one of the perpetrators. We have already gone to the High Court to make sure that uh, at the Center for Kiambu and the former MV, uh, Limuru, who have been accused falsely, are uh, exonerated and the real culprits. 
are better before the law. The leaders stand the move as a political witch hunt. We are not going to be stopped from fighting for our people. And uh, whether they send us to DCI 101 times, we are going to comply. Specifically to President William Ruto, the people that you are harassing, we are the people that voted for you. The powers that you are exercising, we have donated them to you. If you imagine that you can intimidate, intimidate us to measure the resolve that we have, we are extremely determined. Determined to speak for our people, determined to speak for our nation, and determined to stand strong and stand for what we actually believe in. Ruth Sarmoy Chesenge, NTV. So that is how things went, of course, in Nyeri County. But one thing I want to say, remember, when the people have decided they are not going to be part and parcel of the, let me say, how William Ruto is using police officers now to offend the, 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 the residents. Let me say this. The politics of Mount Kenya region is so hard for William Ruto to regain it. I know we are being told that but still William Ruto is controlling Mount Kenya region. But I want to ask you, can you please pinpoint which county William Ruto is fully controlling in Mount Kenya region? Even when you look at even what happened in Nyanza, it was just that William Ruto is having the upper hand of Raila Odinga in Nyanza. Then I want to assure you that without Raila Odinga, William Ruto cannot access Nyanza. The same to some leaders in Western. The same to some leaders in Coast. The same to some leaders in Mount Kenya region. But again, this time around, it is not going to be a leader who is leading a leader to in a certain region. It is about the interest and what you have done to the people. What you have done to the people. And that is why I want to say categorically, the Mount Kenya is gone. I know some individuals are calling, oh, Mount Kenya East, Mount Kenya West. Oh, Sijui Kiambu, the unity of Kiambu, Muranga, and Nyeri. Sijui Embu, Pale, Meru, Tarakaniti, Laikipia, or oh, Wakwele side. I've seen some individuals are trying to parade the Mount Kenya in such kind of way. But I want to tell you, I want to tell you here that Kenyans are tired. And that is what I've always said here. Even if William Ruto will use police officers, will not threaten them. Even William Ruto use what will not threaten them. And that is why the march of Kenyans that is coming is a march that is going to ensure that William Ruto, together with his, with, together with his team, they are going home. And I know some people are saying it, it is difficult. It is easy as we are going to have votes. In fact, it will be so difficult for William Ruto to come out and rig election. It will be so difficult. Because Kenyans will come out and say, Apano, ule jamali wawa tutu yetu, apano, nyumbani, nyumbani, nyumbani. That is whatever is going to happen. Ladies and gentlemen, I might be right or wrong. What do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet in another video.